We are about 10 miles or so southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Houston Texans and the Los Angeles Chargers. The kicker, Dustin Hopkins, set to get this one going. And we are underway in Southern California. This fielded right at the goal line. Oh, he's going to take this out of the back of the end zone. And that's going to be a safety. Taking it about the 16. for the first time with Austin Eckler. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. The tackle made by Christian Kirksey. A gain of two brings up second and... A play fake and now Herbert to throw. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 41. Eckler, they run left side. Now room for Eckler. And he's got some space here. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? He was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to see. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Watson, he fakes to Johnson and now looks to throw. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off here the 32. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. scoreboard and now Charles you go out there very first play throw the interception at defense they're gonna have to bow up yeah and let's see how they handled this because we always talk about reverting back to what you practice when you practice these situations it's called sudden change you don't expect to be out there this fast but you are do you go out there with poise or do you go out there with panic panic could get you scored on again on second and a couple Herbert yeah, he's got it touchdown Chargers Mike Williams on the touchdown throw from Justin Herbert and the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead not even two minutes into this football game, already we've had two scores. You know how much I like to read about teams of old, right? The, the teams of yesteryear. There were some teams that were known as the point-of-minute teams. Well, obviously in a 60-minute game, that's 60-plus points. But two touchdowns in the first two minutes? My calculator doesn't operate that well. And now on the other side, they better wake up. They haven't even gotten off the bus yet. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as King opts for the touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. 
And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Chris Conley, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. By the way, i got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Watson, off play action. Sliding out of the pocket. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 31-yard line. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Flush to his right. This is caught. It's Cooks. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks, 31 yards, and the Texans get a bit closer. As they began this last drive, things weren't exactly looking up for this offense. But after what they just did, putting the ball in the end zone, that took them away from the brink of possibly being knocked out of this game. Looking to maybe throw for it here, Watson. And this is going to be caught, so they do get it. And the two points, now they're back down to a one-score deficit. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. On the return, Andre Roberts from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Charger drive about to get going. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start. Herbert has it knocked free. And the Texans say they have it. They do. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing. Touchdown, Texans! Nico Collins from eight yards out. And now the Texans are within a two-point conversion of tying up this game. Now that was simply frustrating for the defense. They did everything they were supposed to, including putting a hit on the quarterback as he delivered the ball. Yet, it still resulted in a touchdown against them. Now Watson, he's going to lead the Texans up to go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And it'll be intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Charger drive about to get going. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. 
And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Herbert now. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Slam. Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They'll run here with Eckler. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A shotgun snap for Herbert. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. He's got his tight end McKinney right side complete. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Trey McKinney there to make the grab. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. And they'll have Herbert try and throw for it. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Terrence Mitchell. He's got the lane, and there he goes. 30, the 20. Oh, yeah, that's how we do it. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Desmond King now to return it. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser White. And he'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. After the turnover, here's Herbert. He's going to find Cook here in the end zone for a charging touchdown. Jared Cook 
There to make the grab. And the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. They'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Desmond King picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The pro bowler, Chris Harris, is in on the tackle. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. And the end result of that play, you're almost not sure what you really want because when he gets outside of the pocket, you actually hold your breath because you think he's going to run for big yardage. But when he chose to pull it down and throw it, and a play was made to knock it away, that's a pretty good end result. Not one you expected when the play began. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. The former third-round pick, Justin Jones, bringing the lumber that time. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, the first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. Dancing to his left. And now Watson throws another interception. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. To throw again on second down. Herbert across the formation. He's got a man. That's Allen. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Herbert slow going into the hands of Williams. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in the field goal range now at the 27-yard line. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Both these teams, no doubt, making their final halftime adjustments as we speak. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. 
And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Charger drive about to get going. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And they're able to get this one across the 35. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now a pass hauled in downfield. Touchdown! Keenan Allen, 63 yards. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. And Charles, when you talk about Keenan Allen, you're not necessarily usually talking about that crazy top-end speed, but he does a great job there with the ball in his hands. Yeah, and that was sheer determination right there. He decided before the play, if there was a sliver, he was going to take advantage of it. Looked the ball in, turned on the Jets, and took it all the way. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. And shutting him off, now open field. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. A huge play there for Houston. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Watson to give. This is Johnson. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Now it's Watson. Steps away to his left. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Pretty nice gain on the scramble. Gets him 12 yards. Watson to throw on third and one. Forced out to his left. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Chris Conley. There to make the grab. And the Texans cut into that lead. Well, he scrambled outside of the pocket, wondered what was going to happen there. He fired a dart. That's what happened. He certainly did. Scrambled left, looked left, and then left it in the receiver's hands with some dispatch. In the receiver's hands, in the end zone for the score. Now Watson, he's going to lead the Texans up to go for two. Watson now to throw. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. And of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver, ball's put on him, two points for them. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. He gets away from one, and he'll push his way forward to about the 32. 94 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Brings up second and four. On second down and four. Herbert got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First 
going on the ground with Eckler. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Herbert. It's complete to Cook. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 22-yard line. A give, Eckler running to the right, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Eckler going to get it again on second down, and he'll get this one down to about the 17. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. And they snap it to Herbert. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And this Texans defense stands tall. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Watson. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end. And they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. To throw once more on second and 10. Watson. And he's able to get up here to the 26. He turned that into a nice gain. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Now it's Watson. A bootleg. He'll buy some time right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. Running on first down, Eckler. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Play action. It's Herbert. And complete right side to Cook. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he's going to be close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Texans' 15-yard line. Herbert on third down now. Touchdown, Chargers! Mike Williams on the touchdown throw from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away.
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And my goodness, another interception. He's picked off at his own 47. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. 133 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. They'll get this to his tight end. That's Steven Anderson. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a give running left is Eckler. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and that'll make it third down. Now it's Herbert. They're pretty good spot right. Touchdown! That's caught at the one. Steven Anderson from six yards away. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. Hopkins with the extra point, and they open the lead up now to 25. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. One last throw here for Watson. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will